Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Prediction. There's a few results um, this previous weekend that didn't quite um, go to plan for some clubs, same as every week. Um, but anyway, guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the description below, so go feel free to have a look after watching this video. Um, but, you know, as I've just said, a few results going against you, so let's get down to that. So, guys, you know what to do, you know what I do, so subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Accrington Stanley versus South End. Um, Accrington Stanley losing 4 1 away, uh, away from home against Ittridge. Great three points for Ittridge, uh, definitely needed for Ittridge there. Um, South had drawn nil nil at home to Tramia. Um Over the table, let's go to the last five for these two clubs. And let's start off with Accrington. Accrington have won two in their last five. South End have not won a game in their last five. Which gives me a bit of an easy prediction for this one. And I'm going to go for a 2 nil Accrington Stanley win. My next one is Wimbledon versus Peterborough. Um, Wimbledon uh, losing two one away to Portsmouth. Um, you know, um, fair play to Portsmouth. Um, Peterborough nil nil at home to Gillingham. Um, disappointing day for Peterborough. Um, in my personal opinion, anyway, but Peterborough have not won in their last five, and Wimbledon have won one in their last five, and that was a few weeks back. And um, so you're going forward with this game. I think this game's only got one outcome, and I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton versus Portsmouth, and um, Portsmouth beating Wimbledon. Uh, beating Wimbledon 2-1 at home, um, very much um, big three points for Portsmouth, Bolton lost 2-0 away from home to Rochdale, I think I got that Rochdale result dead on as well, um, things are looking bleak for Portsmouth, uh, not Portsmouth, sorry, Bolton, um, you know, sitting bottom of the league, 7 points, the safety gap's getting bigger. Um, the team in 20th is Wimbledon with 24 points, so Bolton's still got a bit of a mountain to climb to catch them up. Um, I've spoken to some of you Bolton fans as well, and you give me your opinion. Um, but, you know, I'd still like to see Bolton do the best they can, even if it's not survival. Um, going forward with this game, um, See, the margin is so big as well. I think it's got to be an upset. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Bolton win. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Coventry. Um, Doncaster sitting in 8th. And Coventry sitting in 4th. Um, I think Coventry do ever so well this season. Doncaster beating Bristol Rovers 2-0 away from home. Um, Coventry drawing 1-1 um, against MK Dons at St Andrews. Um, and the funny story is with that Coventry is the next round of the FA Cup. It's Coventry versus Birmingham and Birmingham got the away in. I think that ain't got to settle down well with your Birmingham fans. But that's going to be an interesting game to see how the FA sort that one out. But it's not my job, it's theirs. So, as I said, I'm looking forward to seeing how they sort that one out. Um, going forward with this game, Doncaster and Ave, Coventry. I'm going to go for a Coventry win because I think they will do it. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Coventry win. My next one is Fleetwood versus Shrewsbury. Um, Fleetwood. Loses Burton Albion 1 0 away from home. Burton Albion have not got a game this weekend. Um, Shrewsbury 1 1 
at home to Lincoln. Um, both teams, you got Fleetwood in 10th and you got Shrewsbury in 15th. Both teams with very similar stacks in their last five. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Gillingham versus Oxford. Um, Oxford losing 3-1 away from, um, sorry, losing 3-1 at home to uh, Rotherham. Very much um, off the cuff, that one, if I'm all honest. But I think I did put um, Rotherham down to win that game. Um, Gillingham, 0-0 away to Peter. Good point for Gillingham um, going forward. Uh, both teams in the league, Gillingham in 14th, Oxford in 5th. Quite a big gap between the two, um, but both were feminist similar stats. The only difference is between Oxford and Gillingham is that Oxford have got one more win in their last five than what Gillingham has. Um, but I'm going to go for an Oxford win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. Oxford win. My next one is Lincoln versus Blackpool. Um, Blackpool did not have a game this previous weekend, but Lincoln did draw 1 1 away to Shrewsbury. Um, great point for Lincoln. Um, Lincoln currently sits at sit deep with two wins in their last five. Um, Blackpool sitting in 13, no wins in their last five. But I have had that week off, so do I think that's going to do any favours? I'm going to go no, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Lincoln win. My next one is MK Dons versus Sunderland. Um, you know, very much of um, MK Dons of a 1-1 one, one away to Coventry, great point for MK Dons, I personally do think. Um, some of them winning 4-0 away, um, sorry, at home to Wickham. I did put something down to win that one as well. Um, going towards the league table, MK Dons in 19th, I went to in their last five. Um, some of them in the playoff places as it stands, winning throughout their last five, I'm going to do something to win this game again, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Sunderland win. My next one is Rotherham versus Bristol Rovers. Um, Rotherham currently top of the table, Bristol Rovers, they've gone down quite a bit, um, currently sitting in 12. Um, Bristol Rovers losing 2-0 at home to Doncaster. Right, so um, very much um, off the cuff that one. Um, Wolverham beating Oxford 3 1 away from home. I'm going to expect Wolverham to beat um, Bristol Rovers again, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramia versus Itchridge. Um, Tramia 0 0 away to South End. Um, great point for Tramia. Uh, I do overall because our tie is down there. Um, Itridge beating Accrington Stanley 4-1 at home. Big three points for Itridge. Um, they do need to. They do need another three points to get the pressure on the top two. Um, Itridge third in the table, only winning one in the last five. Tramia only winning one in the last five. So both these with very similar stats. Um, but I'm going to go for. 1-1 uh, scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Wickham versus Rochdale. Um, Rochdale beating Bolton 2-0 at home. Um, as I said, I think I got that one dead on. Um, Wickham losing 4-0 away from home to Sunderland. Um, this game is going to be interesting. Not only is Wickham in second by a three point margin, but you have got um, Rochdale in 18th and only four points clear off the bottom. But I'm going to stick up for a Wickham win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Wickham win.
But anyway, guys, you know what the usual is. Big crap, I hope you enjoy it. Click on more of my videos that are coming up now. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.